Hey there folks and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. Today we're going to take a look at a couple of the builds that I have built. We have that one over there and then we have this one over here. This one I built on request of somebody. They wanted me to build an airplane with the new motors and here it is. It's kind of supposed to look like a Brewster Buffalo and I suppose it does if you're blind in both eyes and have a person with a speech impediment trying to describe it to you, but it does look airplane-ish. And you can get in the airplane. It doesn't actually fly because I didn't put rockets in it, but... And even with eight gyroscopes, this thing moves around like a slouch. So, well, it is quite large. It's the size of a large spacecraft with small spacecraft parts so and th you can see there I put the lights on there to kind of make it look like a rotary engine almost does the trick but meh oh well and now onto the cool build that I built this one over here each one of those little yellow blocks has a gravity generator and it points towards the center. And in the center we have a... what looks like a medusa of parts all rotating and spinning. There are a bunch of gravity generators that are uh, spinning and it can make some pretty cool effects. If I were to turn off my jetpack I would go flying around zipping in each direction and because these gravity generators point towards the center, it helps keep me in the center and it's kind of like a odd spaceship ride. To demonstrate that, you can uh, take this and dump a whole bunch of stuff out and watch it go. And then you can, the closer you get, the uh, more weird the uh, patterns become. Yeah. <laughs> Just flying around in space. But because uh, the person, or er, my space engineer person is kind of big, he has a lot of momentum, so sometimes I'll just go shooting past. But we'll turn off our gravity generator and see what happens. Ugh. Okay, I'm getting sick. Ugh. But it's pretty fun. It's like a cool little spaceship ride. If you guys want me to put this build on the Steam Workshop, I can, and then you guys can play around with it and mess around with it as you so see fit. And also, I found out that most of the asteroids here actually have interiors. Even the small ones. So if we go... I think, is it this one? Yep, even this one has a has an interior. So it makes some fun times for splunking. This would make another cool secret base. It's kind of smallish, but most of the work is done for you. You have a little area down here. You could put a refinery. I don't know if a refinery would fit, but you could put some stuff in there. And it wouldn't be that hard to make the entrance bigger either. And as well as that, this one, and we know this asteroid has minerals in it, so this would be a fairly useful one to go mining inside and here's an entrance that's already made in fact I'll turn off my oh crap yes as you can see I put a gravity generator in here on my own time so it makes uh, exploring and mining this a little bit easier Yeah, th these asteroids are really cool. There's so much detail to them. This, this room's got a couple chambers. Could use it for something. I don't know what. And then I think there's another 
exit over here. Yep. And then that asteroid over there has quite a complex of tunnels and whatnot as well. But one thing I did notice is that all the asteroids that you see, that's pretty much all you get. The stuff in the background, that's just a static background. I tried to get to those, but uh, yeah, they're just a static background, so maybe it's just with this particular build, but I'm hoping that eventually this will be procedurally generated so you'll actually be able to go exploring. So if I got into my ship over here and went off in one direction for quite a large amount of time, I still wouldn't find any of the asteroids that you see. Oh, one thing I did do, I don't think I showed you, is a while back we crash tested this and we decided that it needed a little bit more armor. And I found that these little I don't know, you call them bumpers or whatever, are just enough. They'll prevent quite a lot, actually. And these little bumpers here actually work quite well for protecting the... for protecting the uh, bridge. Despite the fact it's not like two or three thick, it doesn't really matter. If someone's determined to get through the walls, they're gonna get through the walls. But, yep. So, that's what I've been up to in Space Engineers recently. Alright, I think that'll be it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.